we were just talking about Rick Ross getting dog walked <laughs> for talking crap or trolling Drake in the city of Canada. And it made me say, like, fam, I'm not playing games with nobody out here. And I'm like, when it comes to that type of stuff, first of all, I'm fighting like Batman. But I think that people don't realize that there's consequences to actions, right? You control as much as you want on the internet, right? And in real life, you could get dog walked that same day, right? Back when I was growing up, I come from the time of, and I'm not encouraging violence, you can get punched in your mouth for saying something crazy, right? You can get punched in your mouth for talking to somebody crazy, right? For looking at them. You was just... It's over. <laughs> they go die on real quick if you steer the wrong way. And now people have benefited from being able to play the internet games and saying that people are soft when they see you in real life as if they can't handle a joke or something. I think that the things that Rick Ross was having played on audio is not a joke. That Kendrick Lamar shit, I'm not defending Drake, but it says some nasty, nasty, nasty stuff on there. It's a lot of sick ass allegations that ruin men's lives and you're going to someone's home city and playing and, and dancing just so you get some clicks of you. How old is you, Rick Ross? You too old for that shit. The beef got nothing to do with you. You mad because Kendrick messed with a girl that you used to mess with? How old are you, nigga? Like, come on, bro. So I do think that consequences, uh, consequences, I said consequences, consequences, <laughs> repercussions, fam. You reap what you sow. Don't go out there talking crazy and then thinking there's not a possibility you could get touched. Right now, I'm very aware that I talk a lot of shit. I talk crazy. I'm well aware that people can try to see me in real life. And they tried already. And I was prepared. Yeah, I'm not encouraging or even asking for for beef, but let's make it list for Nigga, call me Mr. Chimney, motherfucker. Like smoke. I am prepared for. Never lack. Um, but I don't encourage it. <laughs> I'm civilian. Um, but I think that you should move smart. You see me going to a festival, I'm be with a crew, nigga. I mean, that's and they all going to be on on. Let's just say that. Niggas ain't going to Rick Ross me. Or if you see me getting Rick Ross, I'm falling on my sword, metaphorically. Right? What that means is I'm not going to get beat up and then run away. And then let my security guards get knocked out. You ain't never going to see me run. Nigga, 10 toes. Last time somebody tried to run up on me in real life over some internet shit, I chased the car. And didn't realize I was bugging the fuck out like maybe 15 seconds into it. I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> ran from the car. I'm chasing behind that. Where y'all going? Oh, I'm bucking. And then ran the other way. Like, nigga, you tripping. Um, but that's just my mindset, nigga. And I'm not encouraging that. I'm just saying, you got to know, right? If you talk crap, there's a good chance that somebody that loved the person you talking crap about could catch you slipping. So if you're not prepared for that, then shut the fuck up. <laughs> just, just, if you're not built like that, Shut up. I'm built like that. Even though, once again, I got to say, I'm not encouraging that energy, but I'm built like that. Like if Tom McDonald, Adam Calhoun, fucking, uh, what's that other loser? That's Adam Calhoun's bitch. Um, Mises. If he, all three of them ran up on me, was like, what's up, BX? I'm going to ask him, do y'all want to go one at a time? Or, I mean, I don't give a fuck if I'm at the grocery store, nigga. Like, for anyone I talk shit about, I will deal with the consequences, yo. Yeah. I might crack jokes, right? And say, like, I'm going to show up to the courtroom with a neck brace, but nigga, that's a joke. I'm fully prepared to defend myself, my nigga. <laughs> that shit going to look like a Van Damme movie, nigga. Like, and even though I'm not inviting that energy, I'm prepared for it because I know people are sensitive. So you shouldn't talk that shit, especially if you've been screaming how much of a boss you've been for 30 years, my nigga. I don't want to hear that. It's too much stains on your name, on your jacket, bro. Fam, this. Remember when Rick Ross artist got beat up at a BET event, I think it was, or some award show by 50 Cent crew? And 50 Cent was literally there laughing. <laughs> like, 
50 is crazy. <laughs> 50, I didn't seen 50 Cent crew beat up somebody on stage and 50 was like dance with the mic. Just looking at it like hilarious. Um, but yeah, be prepared. If you're going to talk that crazy shit, bro, be prepared. Right? And I don't like to talk about YouTuber beef. But you, th you think I'm worried about any YouTubers? Whether Please. Um, but I'm prepared. Like, you know what I mean? I'm well prepared. These motherfuckers ain't. Let's say that. And they don't have to worry about me in any way, shape, or form. Just stating just a fact. A lot of people in today's day and age are too fucking comfortable talking crazy to people like they can't get their chin checked. And they can. But tell me what you think down in the comment section. Hit the like button, share the video, all of that, fam. <laughs> I'm telling you, nigga, they're going to be sitting on camera with the eye jammy like Adam Carroll. Oh, wait.